Excuse me a moment. Oh, hello, police. Mrs. Ledbetter speaking. <laughs> One assumes that you haven't got round to sending out a pa- Oh, you have. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, it was a false alarm. Yes, again. <laughs> My ideas are bucked up, thank you very much, and if it happens 50 times, the burden of responsibility is still yours. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, Andy, you're, you're not really serious about this. Totally, Tim. You're in a lot of trouble with the neighbours. No, won't bother me. I'm cutting myself off. I bought a little place in Devon. I've uh, got a photograph of it somewhere. Oh, yes, there we are. Good grief. Viscount Plymouth's old place. Just in Manor House and a couple of hundred acres. Pedigree daily going down. You're really going to rough it, aren't you? There's only 12 staff, you know. It's all that overseeing. Won't bother me. Buy myself a hack. Look, you sure you got the idea from us? Yeah, see one, play one. From now on, we are birds of a feather, we three. Sons of the sod. <laughs> you want to come round and borrow a fork, you know. Thanks, you're... Tim. Well, I must push now. Order myself a new tractor. Want to see what the chap's given me. Well, congratulations, Jerry, and good luck. Thank you, Andrew. Same to you. Napoleon once said that every soldier carries a marshal's baton in his knapsack. I want you to know, Margot, that I've always thought of you as Jerry's baton. <laughs> Thank you very much. Barbara. You called me Barbara. You've always known my real name, haven't you? Yeah, sorry about that. Bit of a habit. Call people by the wrong name puts a bit of disadvantage. Old executive ploy. <laughs> Cheerio, Tim. <laughs> Cheerio, Fred. <laughs> Will you excuse me for a moment? <laughs> that is no way for a managing director to behave. But ever so please. Well done, mate. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I want to do something. All right, tell you what. We'll all go next door and have a double celebration. Oh, yes, it's your 78th birthday, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> oi, oi, sir. Haven't you forgotten something? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, Jerry, you should. <laughs> I say, I say, do you feel a conga coming on? I do, I definitely oh, do. Oh, oh, pretty good. Come on, Margot. No, not in the avenue. Particularly in the avenue. And... Wait! Wait! <laughs> The sort of people who do this call the police pigs. That's it, the police. Margot, go and find the police. I'll, I'll go and have a look around. I don't know, love. They're just maniacs. Only a maniac would do this. But it's a house! I know. The only one on the avenue without anything worth pinching, so they... I'll kill them. If they catch them when I find them, I'll kill them! They've torn your birthday card. I'm 
And that's not much consolation, but they don't seem to have touched anything else. Thanks, Jerry. Oh, well. We won't have got the birthday cake, then. You've caught them. What? The car that came to answer my false alarm caught them breaking into another house further down the avenue. Right. No, Tom, don't! No. I hope they throw the book at them. If I had my way, it would be 99 years plus. <laughs> well, <coughs> wouldn't put all this back together again, would it? No. Now, listen to me, Tom. You too, Barbara. You've got to call it a day. Nothing has gone right for you lately, and now this. There's only one solution, Tom. You've got to come back to work. You can have your old job back again tomorrow. I can promise you that. Even if it's only just till you get back on your feet again. Please. I know why Geraldine isn't giving us any milk. <laughs> why? She needs to be mated again, that's why. <laughs> yes, of course. What made you think of that? I don't know. Just thinking about tomorrow, I suppose. Well, now. Who do we know that's got a billy goat? <laughs> Old Andy. He'll have hundreds. We're going to come and collect Geraldine and the rolls. <laughs> can't you just can't? No, we can. She can sit in the back seat and look out of the window. <laughs> what does it take to make you people give up? I'll tell you, Jerry. They're going to have a knock down the house, cart away the garden, and they're going to have to nail us both to the floor. Yeah, anyway. This isn't our failure. It's somebody else's. We can cope with our own failures. We have one every other day. Well, I've only got one thing to say. What? Let's get out the glasses. Good idea. Uh, I've always said that you two were foolhardy. But my word, if there were more people with your spirit in this country, we'd still have an empire. We'll do that next year. There you are. We're on the way up already, you see. Oh, Jerry, here's to you. Oh, no. I've only become a managing director. You've just taken life by the throat and throttled it to death. I don't understand that. No, neither do I. Still, I know what I mean. Anyway, we're drinking to Tom and Barbara and their bizarre life. It may be bizarre, Jerry, but it's a good life. Yes, that's it. That's it. Here's to the good life. 